观众朋友，晚上好，欢迎收看最新一期的《紫天访谈录》SD Talk Show， 我是紫天 Sky Do。Welcome to SD Talk Show. Hi, Danny. Hi, Sky. It's good to be back. Yes, it's been a yes. while, right? Yes, welcome back. We are. I'm so glad. It's good to be back with you. Yes. How are you recently? I think the audience all care about. Oh, where is Sky and Danny? He disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> For a couple months, yes, yeah. yeah, there has been a lot of things that ha- that happened. You know, you know, I had COVID and I lost my father, and yeah, but I'm back. Yeah, it sounds some uh, uh, loose, bad news. But you know, after I see you, I look at you. You know, it's a new you, actually. You Thank know? you. Yeah, and the audience wanna have. Some uh, positive experience from you. Yes. Like when you're facing COVID, you got a COVID. Yes. Then, what's your attitude? And when you lose your father, we yes. also want to talk about the funeral. Yes, yes. First, let's talk about the COVID. You remember we were in the middle of an interview. Yeah. And I give. I did not know. I did not know at all. So I came back and I went for a test. And sometimes, you know, when things happen. You always think it's happened to other people. It doesn't happen yeah. to you. Yeah, and you don't care. Yes, yeah. I said I'm young, I'm strong, yeah. and you know, I mean, I can. But but it was hard. It was it was a long. It, it took me about 15 days to get back on my feet. Mm. It hit me good. It wasn't fun. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. what's your feeling? It's very difficult. You know, you know my personality. I'm a very active, hardworking. I yeah. cannot sit in a place. Mm. And can you imagine the condition force you to be in the room by yourself?、Mm. It's very difficult.、Mm. It's very difficult. You want to work. You want to go to the office. You have the meeting to attend, and I have to cancel a lot of meetings.、Mm. Okay, but but after a while, on the second day, I told myself I have to change.、Mm. You cannot crazy. You cannot like get crazy like an animal that put in a cage. So I said whether I change, I have to change my attitude. So.、Uh, I changed, so I said, you know, I can do planning.、Mm. But most importantly, sometimes bad news could be good news,、uh, yeah. uh, Sky. And I do a lot of, re- I did a lot of reflections. Think, you know, when you're by yourself, you calm down,、mm. you start reflect on your life. You、yeah. know what's going on. You start thinking, and then as you settle, and it just help you to to know what is important. And, and I'm so. Grateful for those.、Mm, some- Anything's happened for a reason, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Also, I think COVID for the world, for the universal, it's a warning. I heard about a story: the lungs. Everybody got the lungs disease because of COVID, right? Yes, I believe so too. Why? Because too many stress. Yes. Yes. So work, family, everything, you know, make people. Too many stress. Yes. So when you have stress, you how to release? Yes, yes. I think you are right on what you said earlier on a bigger s- scale.、Mm. I think nothing happened without reason. Yeah. Because of that、uh, pandemic, it forced us to go back to the basic.、Mm. You know, something that we used to take for granted. You know, shaking each other hand, we shake each other hand, we hug, and all that. But when the COVID happened, you don't have that luxury anymore. Mm. Something that you used to consider very basic now you don't have it.、Mm. So thanks to COVID, because of that, now we go back to normal.、Mm. But what used to consider normal is something that oh my God, I got we got to to sit with each other. Yeah. I mean we don't have to cover our face so I don't see your face. You know we can shake hand, we can hug again. So in a way, it had taught us the lessons, and I'm so grateful. Yeah.、Mm. So I move on. And like anything else, you know, when I'm stressful, I know that. I mean, the、uh, our Creator, the universe, tell you that you're off balance.、Mm. Off balance. So I have to reevaluate to see.、Yeah. I mean, what caused the stress? You have to understand the cause. But being stressed is an ongoing process, guy. It never stops.、Mm. It's on. As long as you're not too stressful to the point that it will kill you. But you know, a little bit stress here and there. It it motivated you to, yeah, to to act. You know, to move. Yeah, a little bit of stress is good. If too much stress, it will kill us. Yes. Yeah. 
So I think audience maybe just turn on the TV watching our show. Yes, yes. It's good to be back though. Yeah. You know, you and I, yeah, sometimes we go out there and people say, hey, I saw Sky, I see Danny on TV. And then, you know, we, we make friends through the process. Mm. And I do miss this. It's good to be back. Mm. Also, not just audience, I'm really curious about your experience. You know, yes. you're from uh, Vietnam yes. and you grew up there. So yeah. can you talk about some story, you how to follow your family, your father came to this country? Yes, as you know, uh, by the way, I'm very grateful that you were there at my, final, my father's funeral. Yeah. You know, there, there's a saying in Vietnamese, you know, we have thousands and thousands of friends, but the people who come to your father's funeral was, was somebody who's special, somebody who cares. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that, and uh, I'm so grateful that we have many other leaders to mm. come to share that yeah. special moment with the family. I'm grateful for that, and they know who they are. Yeah. Yes. And you know, the, our story is a very humble story. You know, we came from Vietnam. My father left the country um, and took me with him, leaving my five siblings behind. Mm. Yeah, I got uh, five uh, brother and sister. Mm. Two older sisters, one younger sisters, and um, three brothers. So there's six of us. So he took me to, um, to escape from, from Vietnam. And to make the story short, we spent 25 days on the Pacific Ocean. On the boat? On a boat, on a small boat. 25 with, days? Yeah, yeah, with total, with 72 people on a boat. So we spent um, 25 days on Pacific Oceans. And then after that, when we came to Thailand, we mm. spent, we were in prison. Because mm. at that time, at the beginning of 1982, you know, Sky Thai government decided to um, not accept political refugees anymore. Mm. And unfortunately, we landed in Thailand in 1982. And, you know, to warn people not coming to Thailand again. So they put us in prison, like a real prison. And I was a minor, I was teenager. I wow. was 14 and 15, I was in prison. But it wasn't long, it was about three months. And after that, they transferred us into refugee camps mm. with several thousand other refugees, yeah. So we spent in uh, refugee camps, three refugee camps, two in Thailand and one in Philippines. So the whole journey had taken about three years. It took us three years to come into America. Wow. Yeah. So once you landing on America, what's your feeling at that moment? You think about it, it's just like when you travel to, to a desert and then you reach the point of destinations. Yeah. Yeah, the point of, I mean, especially with all the agonies, tears, yeah. and suffering, and you, you know how happy that, 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 that could be. I remember we landed in San Francisco in the afternoon in July 20th. Mm. July 1984 at 4.03. That was one of the happiest mm. uh, moments, yeah. So I think that was, what, that was my father and I yeah. together, yeah. So he is a big leader of the family. Yes, you know, sometimes you, your mother and your father, in addition to being your parent, they have a special relationship with you, Sky. Mm. And then my father was not only a fa biological father, but he's my teacher. He's my mentor. Mm. He's my motivator. He means everything to me. Yeah, I'm very close. I respect him. I admire him mm. because he, he was the man of action. He was a man of vision. So the person that I am today was largely because of him. Yeah. You know, the thing that I do, the thing that I have. I'm very grateful to him, yeah. Do you think your father teach you most is what? Like yeah. which part? Yes, I, from the beginning, you know, you know, you have the most impact and influence from an early age. Mm. So whatever you absorb from your parent, you would take that into life. Mm. Of course, you know, I mean, they have many teachers, many professors, many mentors, but at the beginning, the, the character the uh, the framework of being a person, mm. the quality, you know, like a courage. He's a man of courage. Mm. You know, he, he was born in a very poor, very poor place in central Vietnam. But he had the courage 
to change his destiny mm. by getting education. When in the village, the, the most most of the uh, 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 of the people at his age was farmers, but you know he made an effort and determination to go to a big city. Yeah. So get an education, but not only he graduated from high school. At that time, Sky, uh, Sky, to have a high school, yeah. before, it's big I deal. Know. Now it's not a big deal, but before, you can relate to that, right? Yeah. And I know he become an uh, interpreter. Yes, you remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I surprised. He yes, can and that. That, can you can you imagine in the uh, 50s something? I don't know how he had learned English. Yeah. He learned English. I don't know how. I mean, just as as a, a young man, he learned English, probably from the missionaries. And not only that, but he I don't know how he saw himself, so that he get recruited to work for a U.S. military. Mm. Special forces, and he told me he used to tell me. He said, "You know, Danny, you know my English is very special. It's not regular English. It's an action English." Mm. And then I told him, "I said, what do you mean? Action English mean? You know, he's he's not sitting at the desk and translating. Yeah. But you know, he was an interpreter with gun mm. on the battlefield, and you know, it among the you know during the bomb explosion. So they try." He helped to communicate mm. between the U.S. military and, and the South Vietnamese. Wow. To, yeah, yeah. That, that was very uh, yeah. interesting. Huh? Yeah, that's why you're successful. I picked up that trait. Yeah. You know, sometimes whether we like our parents or not, we get influenced by them a lot. Not by mm. what they say, Sky, but their actions. You know, in English, in American expression, it said a fruit doesn't fall too far from the root, the root as our parents. Mm. But I mean, it, it, it doesn't fall too far. So whatever your parents are most likely, yeah. you, 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 you have their trait and their mm. characters. Yeah. So after the story, I know why Mayor Turner gave the August 27th for Shen Wenqing date. I give you for the Chinese name. Yes. Uh, Ruan Wenqing. Your English, uh, your Chinese name is Ruan Danyi. Thank you, Sky. Because I translate to the news release. It sounds good, though. Yeah. Yeah, Ruan Wenqing. Yes, mm. I'm, I'm, we, was, we, we are very grateful you were there. Mm. You know, it was a very, very emotional moment. But, uh, but he'd been through um, a lot. But not only that, but he made a lot of decisions. Your parents made a decision, bold decision, and those courageous decision affect your life, not only his destiny, but my life destiny too. So on that day, I was sitting in front of the coffin. I mm. was praying, I said, I mean, you have given me too much. Mm. So I mean, what, if I were your voice, what can I tell the world? It's not about his story. You know, it's not about, you know, how sad, it, but a story about he refused to accept mm. the, the, the card of doubt. To him, sometimes you know, you know when you play card and they give you the card. Even you don't have the best card, but you know how to come up with the strategy and and to mm. play and to win the game. So he refused to accept his destiny. So he changed. He made he had made several bold and courageous, courageous mm. decision. So he changed that. And then how, there we are. And you sit in the room. You saw all the younger generations. And you know I don't just come here by by myself. So all the freedom and the opportunities that we're having, and our parents mm. work so hard to prod us. Yeah. So we are so grateful. I mean, and then the, the younger generation, I mean, they don't just, were born, you know, a lot of my nephew and, and my niece, they were born here. They yeah. get an education, they become attorney, doctor, entrepreneurs, mm. and engineers and all that. Somebody had pay a price. Mm. Yeah, so congrats, my arrogance. Thank you. The great man bring the big family to Houston and raising 13 grandkids. Wow, that's big family. Wow, you're such a good journalist. I mean, because you, you pay attention and you know the details. I'm so grateful I mean, to have those leaders to come and present a flag yes. of the United States that had been flown at the Capitol 
and we get uh, we get proclamations from the mayor, and, and we're, we're very great, grateful. I mean, it's not about our story, but just like the mayor said, hopefully, it's a reminder mm. of all of us that we cannot take freedom for granted. Mm. We cannot opportunity for granted. We have to always try to do the best that we can. So that, that was a, what the story was about, you know. Yeah, I think yeah. all the uh, important people that day came yeah. in. And the mayor turned out to say, one thing make everybody funny, but I think it's very important. He said, thank you for choosing Houston, not staying yeah. in San Antonio. Yes, yes. <laughs> he said because that. he's yeah. thinking about, oh, yeah. I'm being Houston mayor. I feel yeah. honored this kind of people come to my city. Yes, yes. Yeah, we come and... Uh, we are proud. We, we, we're proud that we give the best that we can. You know, when, if you're a smart guy, somebody else is smarter. Yeah. If you're educated, somebody has more education than you. But I mean, what I'm proud of is that we always give our best. I mean, we do the best that we can. Work at it. Um, it's very important. So. Yeah, I think even you lose your father, it's not lose. These people always with you in your mind, and you can teach your kids. You have three boys. Yes, yes. You remember earlier, you asked me how I had overcome mm. difficulties in my life because of one word, faith. Yeah. Had it not for faith, you know, I mean, on, you remember when they lower, you, you are very blessed you used to have both your parents, right? Yeah. You have your father and your mother, so enjoy them when you can. And then sometimes people said, oh, I feel how you feel. I feel your loss. And you don't. Until you yeah. have the same situation. Thank you. you how can you feel? It's just difficult. Mm -hmm. Until you see your parent, your father, your mother's body was put into a coffin when they closed that coffin. Yeah. And especially when they lowered that coffin mm. yeah. underground. I mean, I mean, just like it, just, just, it's beyond suffering. You know, it, just, it was a big loss. You know, if, it doesn't matter how old you are, Sky. Even yeah. you're 50, 60, 70. When you lost your parent, at first, I lost my mother two years ago. Mm. And it was a lot of pain. But at least you still have one person to hang on to. Mm. But when I lost my father, it's like you feel like you're drowning. It's like, oh my God, you feel like you have nothing to hang on. Mm. You, have, you know, you, you feel like, oh my God, I mean, I don't, you don't have your parents anymore. You have nothing to hang on. And I, 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 I love to make them proud. Every time that I do something, mm. I accomplish something, I would call my mom and say, Mom, I did it. Yeah. Dad, I did it. You remember when, when we were young, when you do something good, you, you always say, hey, Mom, look, I can ride a bike myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Always, you always share because you know that your parents mm. will genuinely care and they were happy and then at at a later age in your life sky that doesn't change i still want to make my mother proud mm. i still you know when i do accomplish something um, I, mean, I i share with them and then from now on i mean i got no you know that point now you can talk to your kids hope they can understand <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes they listen but they have a very short uh, attention yeah. span yeah Oh, it's a little bit different. Yeah, I know yeah. parents always see the uh, most close. Yeah. They love you for no condition, never ask back. Unconditional. It's called yeah. never ending unconditional love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never ending, never stop. Regardless, yeah. regardless, this guy, regardless how, how old you are, and especially in our culture, that bond even closer. Mm. You agree, right? I mean, it's yeah. just not, you don't have, you don't have to be out to have when you're 18. Even yeah. you're 80 years old, but you still have your parents, I think they still care for you. Yeah. You know, so. But I think, you know, everybody will have this uh, moment. Yes. Yeah, I just hope you will, you know, keep going, then do better. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That, that's what we can do. Yeah. And you know, sometimes you have to moan. It's very difficult. You know, people come to you when you lose a loved one. Mm. People come to you and give you comfort. They give you 
comforting word. They give you condolences. Mm-hmm. It's help, but I mean, but when you're alone, when when that funeral was over, when that crowd went home, then when you're by yourself and reality start kicking in, Sky, and that's when you start start feeling the pain. But only can you can feel the pain. But you know, it's very difficult in the, in the first couple of weeks. A lot of emotion. But you know, now I have an option whether I stay down. I cannot be crying all the time, you know. But I want to move on and listen to what he taught me yeah. and trying to carry on his legacy, right? Yeah. And then we'll do the best that I can so that he'd be proud of us, yeah. Yeah. Also, you can teach him more people. I really like you mm-hmm. be the uh, speaker at the Red News. For that event, I went to one last year for Motai Family. Oh, you did? Yeah. Tell the audience about the event. Yeah, yeah. So I really know the Red about? News. They have like monthly topics. Yes. They bring a lot of the top company speaker about real estate. So we went to the one yeah. you are the speaker. It's talk yeah. about the retail and the restaurant. Yes, yes. It was a big honor, uh, Sky. I mean, you just started your career, and yeah. suddenly, one day, people invited you to become a speaker. So yeah. what it means is that you have the experience and the wisdom to share with the younger generation. Yeah. The bad news is that that means you are old, <laughs> you know. <laughs> But the good news is that yeah. they value your your wisdom. So it was pretty good, you know. I share with I share with the audience, uh, the audience. Uh, You know, the journey, you know, you've been yeah. through the journey, so I share with them. So I'm so grateful that I've been invited to uh, speak a lot, you know, that I enjoy speaking. Yeah. And the one thing I really like is you talk, not dry. Like today's Mary, for our training, she say this, you are really interesting, your topic. You say, we're coming to Houston, you say a lot of things first, then you back to the topic. You, know, I think. you like that, yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes people come to um, an event, Sky, not only by information. Yeah. You know, if it's only information, then they can read it on the internet. Yeah. You know, if I pull statistics and tell them I'm in the part of this, they, but you know, they came because of you, because of you are the messenger. Mm. So you want to give them your personal experience. It has to be different. You know, whatever you share with them, they cannot find in a book. Mm. So, so I want to give them that, that, that genuine, mm. it's you. I'm sharing with you my real life experience, you know, what I'm facing and how I overcome it. So I think because of that, we connected with the audience at a deeper level. What did you like about the speech? What I think part you, you like the most? When you're facing your client, it's a tenant, you better can let their own this space. They be the owner. Yeah. This is one more option. Got you. Yeah. And every time you talk, have a lot of energy, exciting. Mm-hmm. You make people fall asleep to awake. Were you awake? I'm awake all the time. Thank you, Sky. But yeah. other people talk, sometimes, you know, I think speech is a skill yeah. to make people can concentrate, pay attention on you. Right, right. Do you think public speaking is a gift, is a natural gift, or you think public speaking can be learned? Can be learned. Can be learned, right, yes. I agree too. You got a little bit of, of natural born talent, just a little bit, but you work on it. It's just like yeah. martial art. The more you, 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 you do it, the better you'll be. But, but you got to speak from your heart. You know, if I don't believe in that topic, I don't speak. You know, but whatever we speak, it's got to come from the heart. I mean, it's got to be from your real experience. Because yeah. you cannot fake. You cannot fake to be excited. The excitement, it's had to come from, it's just like when you have something inside you, overflow. Mm-hmm. It's inside you. It's overflow and then it come out. Yeah. I think that's, that's how we connect with the audience. I really yeah. enjoy it. And, and, you know, I love commercial real estate. I mean, it's something that you love, so it's very easy to... Mm. Can you also talk about the recently the real estate the information given to our audience? Yes, yes. You know, with the uh, a lot of um, with the the uh, supply chain uh, disruption, what it means is that 
you know, people cannot rely mm. on the delivery times yeah. of materials. Yeah. And the price is so unpredictable. Mm. It's gone down a little bit, but the, the, the construction materials is very high. Mm. Interest rate is going up. So in a way, it, they do have some negative impact on commercial real estate. Yeah. But that is what you've seen on TV and newspaper. But in my real life experience, it's not slowing down. Mm. It's still good because real estate is still a commodity. Mm. Population yeah. grow, population are growing, but land is still on shortage. Mm. And you know that. I mean, good property are still good. So I guess we're doing okay. Mm. It's okay. Yeah. yeah, that's great news because a lot of audience thinking about well, maybe we sh should just watching, slow down. But they should sell. I mean, if this is a good time to sell. Mm. It's a good time to sell because when you have more buyers, it's called seller market. Mm. You don't wait until interest rate is going too high. And especially with everything is unpredictable nowadays. You know, unlike before, you know, you only fo our impact is only confined mm. in the United States. But nowadays, if somebody sneezes in China, somebody gets sick over here, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, all, um, whatever happened in, in, in Germany, you know, people can feel it. Mm. So, I mean, it's all, the, the globe become very small. What, something happened in, in, in Ukraine, mm. and then it's impact our gas price all the time. So, I mean, because of the, the big uh, global market, so we are faced with a lot of unpredictable mm. variable, you know, and so if you want to sell, it's a good time to sell. Mm. And we are the best of selling real estate. Yeah, for right. being, being commercial team. Thank you. <laughs> also, I think uh, for future we can event many, like today the construction yeah. delivery company, Mary. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah, I think architect. in the future, you and I can invite, for example, if somebody uh, want to own some properties, for example, a doctor want to, to open his office, mm. you know, they have option, they got three options, whether they can lease a space, yeah. right? It's more than that. Or they can buy, mm. they can buy an office condominium, right? Or they can build their own. Yeah. They can buy a piece of land and build their own. Mm. So maybe you, maybe we're going to invite a, a good developer construction company to come and talk to them about the process of... Yeah. Of, 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 yeah. Give you some uh, advice. Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm so happy to talk to you so many information and about your experience today. Yeah, thank you, Sky. I mean, as human being, you know, we're up and down. You know, we cannot be strong forever. Things happen. But the things ha when things happen, the question is, you know, how soon can we get up? Mm. If we can get up, we keep running again as long as we give, we're not giving up. So I'm very grateful to be back. I enjoy our show. And, I see and you. we will continue to have our show every week. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And thanks, Danny, for sharing. Also, your story inspired me because I, I didn't have many experience yet. I um, have a really simple life, easy. So I think I need to learn more from you today. Thank to, you, Sky. And to more work harder. <laughs> you are very kind, but yeah. I, I, I'm, I've been watching you. You know, one, one thing about, it's not about how much you know, but you are very inquisitive. Mm, thank you, you. Are, you. You have that, you know a lot of people. You, you go to a lot of places. You are willing to meet with people. You are willing to learn, and you are still young, so you are fine. Mm. But one thing about you is that you have a lot of contacts. Mm. But you know, in this business, you know, when they need somebody to represent them, they need people with contacts, mm. right? So, so keep doing, keep going to places that you have. Mm. You've gone to many events. You talk to people at different level in society. You're not restricted yourself in just a, in the Chinese or Asian. You're yeah. everywhere. Global. Yeah, you go everywhere. So, yeah. so. And also thank that. you. The audience always supports Sky, Danny, and SD Talk Show. Thank you.
thank you for watching and we will see you next week. Yeah. Thank you, Sky. Thank you, Danny. Yeah. I see you next week.